year. It's hard to believe that these relaxed, smiling young men are the nation's number one team, the defending national champions, the Sooners of Oklahoma. Miami's Vinny Testaverde breezed through Friday's workout. Looking at his teammates' faces, there was no hint that tomorrow would bring a war between these young men from Oklahoma and Miami. Now it's less than four hours from kickoff, and the reality of the day moves into focus. On the Miami players' faces, there is more seriousness. Oklahoma player seemed lost in his own thoughts. A year ago, the Sooners had been humbled at home, 27 to 14. This team remembers. and the issue will be settled. It's number one against number two. Oklahoma versus Miami. Oklahoma's Brian Bosworth has written a different headline each day this week. Today, he writes ours. They're going to drag me off this field because it's going to be war. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's going to be 60 minutes of, of nothing but that. And uh, uh, containing Testaverde is our biggest concern, but uh, uh, intimidating and uh, destroying is uh, our primary goal. It's Oklahoma versus Miami. We're live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida. known as a big game city and today it hosts one of its biggest ever in the Orange Bowl because it's one of those rare occasions when number one comes together with number two and this one started brewing a year ago when the hurricanes of Miami stormed into Oklahoma and upset the Sooners in their own den. Now the Orange Bowl and what an ideal setting it is for Miami and Oklahoma to meet and decide who, for the time being at least, is number one in college football. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our main event today. I'm Brent Musburger. Both of these teams have won national championships during this decade, and both of them did it right here. Miami came back against Nebraska in the Orange Bowl, and then last New Year's night, Oklahoma put away Penn State to wrap up a national championship. Today, we are going to have a great contrast, the passing team and a wishbone team. I'll be here with Eric Parsega, the coach, and Pat O'Brien, and keeping us up to date on the rest of the activities around college football is our man back in the studio in New York. So let's send you to Jim Nance. Jim. All right, thank you, Brent. Another game involving two ranked teams, number 20, Florida State, and number 5, Michigan. The Wolverines lead by three. They have the ball on the 15 of the Seminoles with four minutes to go. Number 10, Arizona trailing in the third quarter against Colorado. Now, the Wildcats quarterback, Alfred Jenkins, had not thrown an interception in his past 144 attempts. But here, he's picked off by Rodney Rogers of the Buffaloes. He returns it 30 yards down to the seven. The Buffaloes scored on the next play. And that was the go-ahead score as they now lead 14-12 third quarter. Michigan State well in front of Western Michigan in the fourth. Now, Lorenzo White, 26 rushes, 192 yards, and three touchdowns for the Heisman candidate there. In baseball, Toronto and Boston scoreless in the bottom of the fifth. The magic number remains at three right now for the Red Sox. And this was the scene last night in Anaheim. The California Angels clinching their third American League West title in eight seasons. And in boxing last night, Edwin Rosario unleashed a furious second-round barrage to knock out heavily favored Livingstone Bramble for the WBA lightweight crown in Miami Beach. And today in Miami, college football's heavyweights, number one, Oklahoma, and number two, Miami, are set for their brawl. So let's go back to the Orange Bowl and Brent Musburger. Brent? All right. 
right, Jim. The crowd jamming the Orange Bowl in anticipation of number one versus number two. You get the feeling that what's at stake here is a heavyweight championship fight. It is that and more, and we'll be right back. Well, we'll be back after this word from your local station. The Oklahoma Sooners versus the Miami Hurricanes. Today's game is sponsored by Toyota. Builder of tough, powerful, reliable trucks, Toyota. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee Light. It doesn't get any better than this. Cigna, a leader in insurance, health care, employee benefits, and financial services. And by the U.S. Army, a place to be all you can be. place to be here this afternoon is the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, where it is number one Oklahoma against number two. Barry Switzer now preparing to bring out the defending national champion Sooners, one of the great traditional powers in college football, and here they come. Meanwhile, Jimmy Johnson, who has helped move Miami's team up amongst the elite of the college game. champions until they lose and the man who guided them there is head coach Barry Switzer who has one of the more remarkable records in all of coaching the team that will try to knock the champions off are soon going to meet. They will flip the coin and decide who will kick and receive. In the eyes of the young quarterback from Miami, Vinny Testaverde. And the other side, the linebacker who will be staring in at him, number 44, Brian Bosworth. Sit back. 
Looking out for number one. Looking out for number one. Toyota, looking out for you with a Toyota One Ton. With over a ton of payload, it's strong enough to outcarry any mid sized truck. Currently in Ann Arbor, Michigan, after an interception, the third of the game thrown by Ferguson of Florida State, Thomas Wilshire has capped a long drive with a touchdown that now makes it 20 to 10. Michigan on the seven yard run by Wilshire and the and hot, humid down on the field, and it may be the deepest team that will win this game. Let's so the man who will. He blew up just Oklahoma is number 91, Todd Thompson. Well, we've got a moment. Let's go to Pat O'Brien. Pat? Grant, in the locker room just moments ago, first at Oklahoma, Barry Switzer went over some final plans and then said to his team, you are the best team. In the Miami locker room, Jimmy Johnson said, good things are going to happen today. It's our turf, our fans, and our game. I think George Myra Jr. said it best when he said, it's time to stop talking and start playing. Let's do both.